Hey guys, welcome back to Wentworth Life, the YouTube channel that talks everything Wentworth. If this is your first time here, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Okay, well, in today's video, I am going to be reviewing Wentworth Season 1, Episode 9, To The Moon. And this is actually a really sad episode that I'm going to be reviewing today. I think this was probably the first episode that properly made me cry, and not just once, but a few times during the episode. So in the last episode, it ended with the death of Debbie after Brayden gave her a fatal dose of heroin. As soon as this episode begins, Erica, Will and Fletcher, they all head down to break the bad news to B, and it's awful to see it unfold. Erica doesn't break the news straight away, but B can see in Will's face that something is seriously wrong and B ends up screaming at Erica to just tell her what the freak is going on. What makes this moment even more emotional is that Frankie and Liz, they're all there in the background and they know that something bad has happened. When Erica finally tells B what's happened, B refuses to believe it. Now, I always found Erica to be a little bit out of her depth in this episode. She didn't seem to have the emotional skills when breaking this bad news to B, in my opinion. Erica was just like, I'm so sorry for your loss, B, and then she just walks out. Things get even sadder in this episode when B makes a phone call to Harry, and Harry pretty much confirms to B that Debbie has gone, and B ends up breaking down on the phone, basically telling Harry to go to the hospital to be with Debbie, she's all alone. Oh, breaks my heart. Harry then ends up hanging up on B because that's just the type of coward that he is. And then there's this look in B's face and in her eyes as she puts the phone down her end and I am convinced that this is the very moment where B completely changed. B then gets up and collapses on the floor screaming and howling and Will is there to comfort her but Oh my god, those helpless screaming and cries are, they're just something else. And as I'm talking about this, I can actually hear those cries in my head right now. B then goes on this horrible emotional journey for the rest of this episode. I mean, there's a horrible scene where Doreen and Liz, they convince Erica to let B go to Debbie's funeral. And then idiot Channing overrules Erica after Erica has already allowed it. So B is all ready to go to the funeral. And and as she's being escorted through the yard, Erica delivers the bad news. And it's bloody awful to watch. I literally cannot believe that Channing could be this heartless. If Erica hadn't already given the green light, then it would have been slightly different. It still would have been heartbreaking for B, but you know, to say yes to B and then to take it away is just literally unthinkable. This then leads B to do something awful when she tries to kill herself in her cell by hanging. I mean, what did Erica think was gonna happen? Luckily, the noise wakes Liz up and Liz alerts all of the women and they all come out and help and cut B down from the door. And even this scene makes me tear up. I think the fact that B was just pushed over the edge at this stage, it just oh, drives me mad. I can't believe that Erica didn't at least have B on suicide watch. Like, surely that would have been basic protocol. You guys can probably tell that I am not really a fan of Erica, but I do think Erica gets more and more useless by the end of season one. This is the episode where I first heard that song, My Head is a Jungle. And it's played right at the end of the episode when all the women, they put on this really nice small memorial for Debbie and B in the yard. And I do think it's such a beautiful moment, especially when the camera pans up from like a bird's eye view and all of the women are standing there respectfully alongside Erica and the officers. And it's just one of those very, you know, rare few moments where everyone is united in respect for Debbie and B. And I just love little egg, you know, little Easter eggs like that. Of course, a bitch face Jax is there and she is responsible for all of this. Now, none of this will come out until the next episode, but during a visit from Harry in this episode, B does learn that Debbie did have a boyfriend and that his name was Brayden. Now, that one sentence will come back and haunt B and Jax 
in the next episode, which of course is the season one final. This is also the episode where Will really, you know, turns his character around for the better, in my opinion, because he ends up going to see Debbie's body on behalf of B, and he delivers a message from B telling Debbie that her mum loves her to the moon and back. And I just thought it was a beautiful kind thing for Will to do for B, and this of course builds their officer prisoner friendship right up there for the foreseeable future because B even mentions this very moment to Ali much later on in season 4, that's how much it meant to B. Let's move over to Fletcher and Vera because in this episode there is a scene which, oh god, I think is one of the most awkward cringy sex scenes in television history. So uh, we delve a little bit into Fletcher's backstory and it's quite clear that he suffers with PTSD from his army days. Anyway, one evening he goes over to Vera's house after Vera basically bails on him with, with a dinner date. Now when he turns up he brings over some of the food and he pretends that he didn't get Vera's message. Vera makes it clear that her mum is actually sleeping after popping some sleeping tablets so she's not gonna wake up. Then Fletch and Vera get frisky and it's quite clear that this is Vera's first time. Oh god, this scene makes me feel so uncomfortable. Anyway, Fletch and Vera, they're in the bedroom and Fletcher is on top of Vera on the bed getting ready to pop in his penis but he ends up hurting Vera. He then goes to do something to make Vera wet but then Vera is like no 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 don't worry you don't need to do that. Fletch then gives up, lies next down to Vera, next to the bed, and decides to wank himself off in front of her. This makes me cringe every time I see it. I feel so bad for Vera during this scene. She obviously doesn't know much about sex and she doesn't know anything about v um, Fletcher's PTSD. And he clearly has problems that get enhanced when he's been drinking. But there's not no way to treat Vera, I've got to say. I mean, she ends up asking him to leave, but is this going to be the end now of their fairy tale relationship? Jax may not be on B. Smith's radar in this episode, but I found it interesting when Simone Slater gives B her new magazines as a sign of respect for what's happened, and Jax witnesses this in the distance. And when Jax asks Simone where the magazines have gone, Simone basically lies to Jax, saying that the screws nicked them. It's very interesting because I believe this is the very first time we have witnessed one of Jax's very own crew members has lied to her face. Jax's days are definitely numbered. When I first saw this episode I just wanted Jax to get her comeuppance but the writers may just wait until episode 10 which I can kind of understand why. Anyway this was a very emotionally charged up episode with lots of tears. I think my favourite part of the episode is the very ending scene when they play that song my head is a jungle. Whenever I hear that song on the radio or on my playlist it always reminds me of this very moment. My least favourite moment has to be the moment where Erica tells B that she can't go to the funeral. I just think it's so disgusting and it may have been Channing's decision but I do think Erica should have fought a lot harder on this one. Anyway guys that is all of my thoughts now I'd like to hear some of your thoughts. How many times did you cry? Be honest when you first saw this episode. For me personally it was around about four times. I mean I don't think any of us were really prepared for just how sad this episode was going to be but let me know all of your thoughts in the comments box below. Okay then guys, well thank you all for watching today's video. Get ready for my next Wentworth review next week as it is going to be the season 1 finale and you will not want to miss a moment of it so make sure you have that subscribe button turned on for that video notification. Okie dokie, well thank you all for watching guys, I will see you all next time.